First, let's take a look at Emmanuel Ogba, the 6'4", 275-pound junior out of Oklahoma State. And Ogba has gotten better each season in Stillwater, racking up 11 sacks and 17 TFLs last year en route to being named Team Defensive MVP and consensus first team All-Big 12 and Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive tackle Raven Clark out of Texas Tech has had one heck of a career for the Red Raiders, a three-time All-Big 12 performer. Clark has also starred and excelled at right guard, being named freshman All-American before making a move to left tackle. Clark excels on both ends of offense, so this will be a good matchup to take a look at from a scouting perspective. Let's pop in the tape and watch these two excellent prospects go head-to-head -head as we keep score on which player wins the rep. As we spot shadow both players, Clark will always be lined up at left tackle and Ogba will always be lined up across from him. Now, this is a really good job on this play by Clark. He's able to sit in the chair properly. His hands were inside and he was able to stay in a position of control. You can get a great gauge on the strength of Clark once he latches on. This is a really good job of stonewalling the defender. I think Ogba wins here. He's quick off the ball. He gets his hands on Clark first and that gets him off balance. The ball gets out pretty quick, but had it not, it would have been downhill pretty quick for Clark. And as for Ogba, you can see a guy that has good functional strength to go with his quickness off the snap, a little OC human euro like by the junior. How long can you hold a block, especially at left tackle, is going to be key. And coming off play action plus a setup, you see LaRaven Clark do an excellent job of beating Ogba to the spot. He cut off the angle. He didn't overextend. He won with first hands and promptly escorted him out of the club on this one. This, I believe, was a textbook job by Clark. Having length and playing with length are two different things, and Ogba put together his own textbook showing here versus the run. He attacks first, then extends, and doesn't allow himself to get reached by Clark. This was a great job of maintaining the point of attack, and he ends up getting in on the tackle. And this, once again, shows you functional strength. Being able to hold your own allows you the opportunity to be an every-down defensive end. We talked earlier about escorting Ogba out of the club, and here's another example of it by Clark. This was a great job by him to latch and ride him out of the way, clearing a path and a passing window for the quarterback to deliver the ball. Now, you don't want those uh, that outside hand to stay outside. He has to be cognizant of his hand placement, but overall, this was a good job nonetheless. An excellent job of hand usage right here by Ogba. He slaps down Clark's inside hand and is able to dip and rip to flatten to the quarterback for the sack. This shows you technique and his closing speed to the QB, and that's drill worthy right there. That's textbook. That's clinic type stuff right there by Ogba. Nice change up he threw at Clark right there on this play. LaRaven Clark's right guard strength comes into play here as Ogba runs into a brick wall from the end zone cam. You'll see why. Look at the hand placement of Clark. Both are inside with great form. He's got good knee bend and is able to absorb and redirect Ogba. And I don't think there was anything he could do on this play. There were some great things and coachable things I was able to pick up on in this video and things I want to see them get better at as they move forward. But overall, I say this was an even matchup. Watching both guys compete against one another, you can see why they're both highly thought of entering the 2015 season. Both players, I believe, have really bright futures.